Let's talk about the decoration of HMS Fly for a moment. So I often see um, people spend a lot of time building their model and then they simply block paint the decoration. Uh, and for me, that, that's not quite right. Now, the instructions for HMS Fly tell you for this part, for example, to paint the whole thing either gold or yellow okra. Well, from a historical perspective, the yellow okra would be much more accurate. But the reality is, there would be a lot more colour on this, with, without doubt. You only have to look at the quite limited um, reserve decoration on the stern gallery of HMS Victory to see how much colour there is in that. Although most of it is yellow okra, when you get to the uh, the decoration right at the top there, there's lots of different colours in there. So I don't accept that all of this would have been gold. And when you clean up the part and then give it a grey primer, which is what I've done here, you can really see the detail pop out. So I suspect this would have been quite colourfully decorated in, in real life. Now, um, the gold and the brass against the natural wood does look very nice and I understand why some people like that artistic license when they're displaying the model and, and you know, that's that's totally fine. Well, for me, um, and it probably comes from my background in building plastic models for many years, is that I'm trying to um, reach something that looks realistic uh, and looks um, fairly accurate without you know necessarily going over the top so in the case of this we have got some colors for the um, side galleries here but in reality um, I don't want to do this all yellow okra now another uh, another point we should consider is at this period of time the captain of the ship had the right to paint his ship any way he chose. So different captains would have possibly changed the decoration. So what I want to do is um, I want to paint this in a more colourful way other than just solid um, but also I want to show you how to paint it so it has a bit of shadow and highlight rather than just a single block colour which is what I see a lot of wooden ship kit modellers do. Now, in terms of colours, you are a little limited. Um, ships carried a certain number of paints, and these were the, the standard admiralty paints. So you'd have yellow okra, you'd have red okra, you'd have black, you'd have white, um, you'd possibly have um, green, uh, and you would have had um, blue. So everything we do in here has to come out of that palette of colours. You will have to forgive my voice, I have a terrible cold. The first thing we can see is that there is actually um, a little bit of um, back to this, which we need to paint in black. Um, there's also um, a little rail that's running through this, um, which I'm going to pick out in white. These bits here get picked out in white, so I want to run that through. So this will be white here, and then we'll have white running through there and that will help bring it out and bring it to life. So we will start with dull black which is the black used on woods. Now this is Admiralty paints and this will be the paint system I use throughout the bill. Um, for me these are the very best paints for wooden ship kits. So we're starting by painting in the black.
The thing to remember is this is carved wood in real life, so it should be a little bit junky looking. Going back round again, checking I've not missed anything. If in doubt, paint it in. Okay, so that's the first colours on our top rail there. So next is to paint in um, the side galleries. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, that's the bottom rail in. Now there is a little rail that's very difficult to see running through here, so I'm going to do that now. And the reason why I'm painting the windows in white is so that we can paint the frame the full depth, and then what we will do is paint the windows in separately, um, and that should keep the frames nice and sharp. <laughs> Okay, I'll get the other one done and see you on the other side.
Okay, with the base colours now all down, um, what we want to do is add a little bit of depth. That means adding a bit of shading. Now, I'm still only going to use the colours that we've used because that's what would have been available on the ships at the time. But when you look at, at um, HMS Victory, for example, um, you can see how the stern gallery is painted and um, the, the white feathers have got grey in them to highlight them and stuff. So we want to do that. So what I have done is I have um, added um, a dash of black to the yellow. So it's three parts yellow, ochre, uh, and one part um, dull black. Um, and we've thinned it down with some water. And we're just going to go over the yellow now. And this darker shade is going to settle in all the recesses and add a little bit of shadow effect. So let's just do that. So we're going to go in with our wash. Uh, and we're just going to paint it into the areas where we want a little bit of shadow, which is how they would have done it on the original ship. So just where we want it a bit darker. And it's subtle, but it'll be most obvious on places like the face. Where there's a lot of texture, we can just dab it in. And as it dries, the liquid uh, flashes off, the pigment settles, and it'll settle right down into the, the grooves there. And then our next job after we've done this will be to highlight everything. I think that's the cherub done. Have to remember that less is more, so don't overdo it. But then don't worry if you do, because we can always correct it. So that's the cherub done, and you can see how he's starting to show his definition more than the one on the other side so i'm going to carry on doing that uh, and when that's done i'll show you what that looks like So we've done um, darker colour washes for all of the colours here now. Um, and we've painted the windows in in a light grey. Uh, when you look at um, ship's windows out at sea, that's the colour they are. Um, we need to um, put some gloss on and make them uh, ultra shiny so it looks like glass. Well, that'll be the last thing we do. So what I want to do now is go over the white and solid up the white and then we'll start doing some lighter colours to, to highlight these other colours that we've done. So I'm using my Admiralty White which I've thinned down a little bit. You can thin it with water. Um, I'm actually using Ultimate Thinner because Pretty much thins everything anything as long as you get your ratio right and I'm hoping this will be the last coat of white that we need to do so that looks nice and bright now and it's evening up the color and we mustn't forget that we need to do the inside as well So that will be visible. 
and ultimately this part will just get glued on so we can prepare it all in advance and then just place it when we're ready. <laughs> do exactly the same with the side galleries we might need two coats on these but going in with thinner paint and a thinner brush um, means we we uh, can do detail a little bit better and that's where we are now whereas we were blocking the colors up before and weren't too worried um, if we went out over the lines a little bit, although we were trying not to. Now we're very much in the um, job of tidying this up and making it look right and smart. Fairly sure we're going to have to do a, at least another coat on this. You get the idea. I'm going to paint it all in a second time, and then we'll see where we're up to. Okay, so we've painted the white in. Um, it has had three coats on this on the side galleries, but we only needed two on the end gallery. Um, so as we've got the white out and the blue, uh, what I want to do is do the blue highlight. So we can show you what that's going to look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this blue paint. I still need to do more on the blue here, you see, so I don't want to contaminate this paint. I'm going to take some of this blue paint here. And then we're going to take some of our white paint. And we're just going to lighten the colour, like so. Add a little bit of water just to thin it down a little bit. And then we can go in and start highlighting the top edges of the uh, garment and you'll see what a difference that makes. So a tiny, tiny amount of paint on the paintbrush and we're just going in. On the ray top, very top of the raised detail there, and you can see straight away that's starting to bring out the shape and life of the garment. what we end up with rather than a solid color which is what i often see on wooden model ships what we're seeing is a little bit of variation it's darker at the bottom uh, we've got the main color halfway up and then it's lighter at the top um, and i think that just looks so much better so now you understand what we're doing a little bit of light paint on the top surfaces i'm going to go away and do this and i'll show you the effect when that's done. Do exactly the same with the red. Don't put too much white in, we don't want to turn this pink. It just highlights all the different textures that would have been carved into this. And the ships were very proud of their decoration, particularly their figureheads. So we know that they were well looked after. Right, I'll come back to you when all of this is finished. Mm -hmm.